Hey, what's up, Robert? That's crazy. You're in the chat before it even shows that there's anybody in the chat. There's a zero. What's up, Sam? Come on in, everybody. Gather round, gather round, gather round. Look who's poking. Look whose eyes are poking through the background. Ding, 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 ding. The many eyes of Tatis. Oh, just enjoying life, you know. Getting ready to open some cards. Hoping to pull you guys some fire. Baseball, baseball, baseball. Nothing better than living, breathing it. Could go hop on Roto Grinders, find out what all the starting lineups are. What up, B Mac? Pack Rat. Got an Independence Day shed long to 76. Nice. Love those IDs. Independence Days are beautiful. Whole huge slate of baseball tonight, you guys. Throw on a baseball game while you're watching the break. That'll be fun. Orioles, Phillies, Braves, Yankees. That's going to be a good one. Big total, 88 degrees out there in New York. 9.5 total. A couple of meh pitchers. Should be, should be some runs scored in that game. My Tigers are up again, crushing. Can't believe it. Got the Cubs at Indians. 81 degrees there, 9.5 total. Going to be some runs scored, you guys. Loriano Roan Bear. Yes, I know, dude. I saw that. I can't. I'm glad you brought that up. He is so, like, he has moved all the way up my list of favorite players. It's Tatis and Bo. Uh, we're talking active players here, and it's probably laser number three. You know, Astudio's up there, but... I like cool, I like Bellinger. Uh, there's some other guys that I like, but Robert, just because he's a rookie, he's exciting. But Laser, just that's what you do. You got to stand up for yourself. You don't let that old man in the dugout, you know, come at you and say, "Let's go." You don't go like that unless you expect to get a face full of knuckles. I know, dude. It was so funny how he's he was holding that. He's like holding the pitch, showing him how to hold it and spin it. It's like, you're not spinning the ball enough, man. Like he was cool about it. He was a little disrespectful, but I thought it was funny how he's like showing him how to throw that pitch. And just, you could tell it hurt him in the back a little bit. He was favoring his back. Just walks over to first base. Astros dugouts yipping at him. It's like, okay, you want to brawl? I love it. He ran right into the whole team, and he didn't care one bit. He was, he was going to take them all on, whatever it took to get to that guy. And I don't blame him. Oh, you like that rap? I, I swear, I came up with it on the fly. As I was just sitting there, I was like, huh, let just make a little rap up about this. And then that was it. That was it. It was fun. And then I thought, should I just do this before every single video? And no. The answer is no. You gotta spread them out a little bit. And it has to be, you gotta feel it. You gotta feel it in your plums, you know? And it just has to flow out of you. You can't plan something like that. Because if you plan it, it's like a writer planning a writing session. Like, I'm gonna sit down and write for two hours tonight. It's like, if you're not motivated, sometimes that motivation just comes to you and then that's when you do it. You can't force it. Check those odds on the Independence Day Series 2. Okay. Man, are these heavy. I keep forgetting how heavy these are. So heavy. One out of 236 packs. So yeah, that's a sweet pull. Love it. I think they're my favorite. I like them better than the Mother's Day and the Father's Day. Even though the Mothers and Fathers are lower numbered, the Independence Day ones are just so pretty looking. And they're definitely prettier than the camo, although everybody loves the camo. Yeah, so what do we got today? A rap about Eshelman next? <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. I asked, okay, I asked all my friends last night because they're all they're all in the fantasy baseball with me. Everybody knows the players. Everybody knows everything. I go, okay, you guys, have you ever heard of Tom Eshelman? And it was just blank stares and a couple of crooked looks too. Like, what? Like, they thought I was joking. Nobody had heard of him. Not one person. 
And then maybe one person was just like, oh, I don't know, maybe. It's, you've never heard of him. Don't try to pretend like you have. Only Rob H. knows. What's up, John? How's it going, bud? Yo, Dennis. De Luna, what's up? Yeah, we got a good one tonight. Okay, we're going to get... Should get ready. Should get ready to go. It's about that time. It's about that time. Let's talk about what we're doing here. Got a little mixer. You know, got the Topps Chrome Action, of course. Doing a hobby. Got to get those two guaranteed Chrome Autos. Can't get any more retail. Can't find it. Been out every day. Haven't found any more. Got a few more for my PC that I'm going to open because there's a point. Because I want to compare retail and hobby and do an actual physical representation of the different stacks so i'm just gonna open a hobby because i'm too poor to afford a jumbo of 500 or whatever there so i'm gonna open a hobby and stack them up and put them into piles like prism refractor inserts and then base and then i'm gonna do that for an equivalent value of retail stack them up just so you can see the difference in the size of the piles that you get same with autos too you know it's not gonna be that big of a difference in autos most likely it'll be probably like two versus two or three or four. And then I've uh, been working on the value series. So that'll be ready to go, not tomorrow, but the next day. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? So Thursday, it'll be ready. And tomorrow we're doing a break. I just listed it, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up if there's anybody in the chat that wants to get in. I rarely let the chat know. It's always just slammers, but I let the slammers know so they could get in. There's probably a few spots left, strikerbreaks.com. It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be early, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock break because I got a little birthday dinner tomorrow with my parents. So I got to get over there and do that. And that's why I won't have time to finish up the value series. But Thursday, it'll be done. And... We got some absolute, so we're doing chrome. We're doing just a little blaster of series two. Just get some more cards in there, you know, so everybody gets a little stack. Got a coin, big fat coin relic. But we're doing the absolute because I love the value here. The price of the absolute hasn't changed. It's still 200 bucks and you get four autos and two memorabilia cards. Great value, great value. Unfortunately, the museum collection has increased. It's, it's over 300 now, it's like 310 and that's a shame because it was nice at 260. 300, it was still nice. We're still good. We're still at a good value. But if this gets up to 350, it's going to be like, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. But we got some museum because currently it's still a good value. Two tops logo rights. They got the rights on them, autographs, relics. You can get the quad relic. So this is good stuff too. If you guys are ready, let's do the randomizing. Oh, Kanan in the house? What's up? And I'm going to apologize in advance for missing anybody's chat or shout out. I'm, I'm focused. Got to do this. Got to focus in. Okay, let me grab the Google Sheets. Also, if you go to Striker Breaks and you're in the break, or anybody, you can just go check the, the buy-in list. Striker Breaks. I suggest doing that before the break, just in case there's anything wrong. I, I hate to mess anything up leave someone's name out or there's two Robert H's last time and I didn't know that till I was getting ready to ship the cards out and I, I'm like uh oh <laughs> two Robert H's so that's always a bummer rare all right King Arthur yo 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 all right let's do this guys grab that team list I'm all over the Diamondbacks tonight, by the way. Let's go Diamondbacks. My Bumgarner pick, real bad. My bad. <laughs> That's a bad pick because he's no good. We're doing this three times, three randomizations. I think he's he's just lost it, you guys. I, mean, I don't know. I, I, if I could do it all over again, I would not take Bumgarner for Cy Young, even at 44 to 1 odds or 50 to 1, whatever they were. New York Mets leading off. Let's put them right up at the tippity top. There they go. Now for the buy-ins. Going back down here so you can see the roll. Two. Ooh, we haven't had a little one in a while. The twos. All right, here we go. Two times. Got to make them count. There's one. Mixed them up real good already, I can tell. And 
two. Adam getting the Mets. Put them in order. Read them off. Diamondbacks, Brian A. Braves, Brandon M. Orioles, Tim M. Red Sox, Zach B. Cubs, Michael H. White Sox, Karen V. Reds, Brandon K. Indians, Karen V. Rockies, John C. Tigers, Zach B. Astros, Zach B. Royals, Tim M. Angels, Lori O. Dodgers, Chad P. Marlins, Robert H. Brewers, Michael H. Twins, Eric S. Mets, Adam L. Yankees, Christopher E. Athletics, Michael H. Phillies, Skyler. Pirates, Jason H. Padres, Nicholas A. Giants, Skyler. Mariners, Lori O. Cardinals, Zachary W. Rays, Joel D. Rangers, Brandon K. Blue Jays, Adam L. Nationals, Cubby. Good luck, everybody. I'm going to drop the link in the chat, but like I said, it is available on the homepage, strikerbreaks.com. Subscribe to the website. It's free. There we go. And time to print, and then we can get ready to rock. Oh, museum. I like museum. Schmancy. High quality. You know what I'm saying? High quality stuff there, that museum collection. All right, let me go grab my copy, you guys. Oh, almost knocked that over. I'll be right back. you what i did today i so i made if you guys saw that tweet of all those pickles or the cucumbers tons of cucumbers i made them into pickles right and they're the best pickles you'll ever eat but that's beside the point so in the bottom of the jar of pickles there's some whole cloves of garlic and you can pickle garlic it's actually pretty good so i thought to myself Maybe I'll just eat one of these whole cloves of garlic. Big mistake. Big mistake. 22 seconds. Did you time it? I ran. I'm a little out of breath. Down the stairs, up the stairs, as fast as I could. So anyway, ate a whole clove of garlic, or tried to eat it. Just bit down into it, and it went, it like exploded. It went up into my nose. Still, that was at like 1 o'clock this afternoon. So six hours ago. And I can still, it's full, it, it's in my throat and my nose. Like, I, I swear I can almost feel it in my eyeballs. So powerful and strong. I brushed my teeth. I ate a whole meal, drank a bunch of liquids. Nothing helps. The more you know. But I am going to make a, a video on how to make the best pickles in the world. And it'll be funny too. You know it will be. Okie dokie. Let's start off with a Series 2 blaster. Let's take it nice and slow to start with. We'll get our rhythm down. We'll get our timing down. We'll do the double soak. Kluber's doing a very good job lately. I'm impressed. Those poor Texas Rangers are not impressed. Lemo cubes. What? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Are those just like little ones? Or what? Tell me about that. You used to eat garlic and blow it in the lineman's face. Yep. I, I, it's still in my nostrils. It's unbelievable. I can't get rid of it. What? What should I do? Can something neutralize that? Baseball sized yellow crazy. Oh, all right. I'll try to track some of those down. Chew on parsley with stems to get rid of the garlic. Really? How about dill? Cause I've got a bunch of fresh dill. Will that work? I don't have any fresh parsley. You know who we're looking for. I don't even have to tell you. Karen V is going to be very happy 
when we find who we're looking for, which I hope we do. This guy got the chrome turkey. A Rosarina. And the peat inserts come out of here. Discount trout, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, only you, King Arthur. We're looking for Yamamoto! Karen's like, yep. She's on top of it. She's ready, looking, searching. Looking for a particular logo. I've been pretty lucky. I've pulled myself... Oh, jeez. Hold on, I gotta show you how many I've gotten. Out of the Series 2 that I've opened so far, I've gotten one, two, three, four. I've, I've gotten four. It's pre pretty lucky. I did open quite a bit of Series 2, though. But just most uh, one jumbo box and then mostly just a bunch of blaster boxes and hanger boxes. Nothing crazy. That's how I roll. Fantasy Squad is doing so good, you guys. I am so far ahead of everybody else that like it's already over. The first week I won eight to one to one, eight one and one, and then the second week or eight one and two, so eight and zero, oh. and then the second week I was nine one and one or not. 9-0-1. Oh, so I don't think I have a loss yet, or maybe one loss, and just I'm crushing, crushing. Tatis, that's why. He's put up enough stats to, like, the equivalent of, like, five other players. Flaherty. Tycab, yes. Yes. Zach, get Mr. Cobb. Did I go to Michigan? I went to U of M Flint for two years. So, sorta. But everybody knows it's not really Michigan. It just is, it's just called Michigan. But it was a good education. Dude, two? We got two chromes in one box? That is wild. I've never seen that before, you guys. Look at this. Two turkey chromes in one box. It's always something around here. It's always something. You saw a golden ticket pulled? I haven't seen any golden ticket pulled from this. Z got a Topps Fire rookie to 99 for Tatis. That's pretty sweet. Tops Fire doesn't get the credit that it deserves. I mean, I guess you gotta draw the line somewhere. Was this recently that you saw the golden ticket pull? Is this like a new video? And who did it? Yeah, subscribe to Striker Breaks, you guys. That way I can email you every once in a while. Let you know when a break's happening or a giveaway or something like that. Which I'm, I'm getting Striker's Treasure Chest Volume 3 in the works. So, if I were you, I would subscribe to StrikerBreaks.com. Just a little heads up. Hayes, Kluber Claws. I was thinking about it, but he doesn't deserve it. If he did as poorly as the Billy Ripken F-Face card did in terms of luck, I would he'd be out of here already. There would no, There'd be no need for hazing. Plus, Kluber's a veteran. Like, if it was a rookie, I'd haze him a little bit. Kluber deserve, doesn't deserve to get hazed. He's he's accomplished a lot. There we go. Dude, I have not pulled this yet. Period. There it is. I mean, this isn't the one, but it's one of them. Going to Karen. Got the Robert. Congratulations. Seriously, out of all the Series 2, I don't think I've seen this yet. Maybe I pulled it in a break or something for somebody, and I don't remember. But definitely not for me. That's cool. I'm putting them on stand. Another peat. You pulled... Elkanon's been super lucky with the Roberts. He pulled 16 flagship base, three golds, one SP. You got three. Last time I knew you only got two golds. An SP and three... Good Lord. You have been on top of it. How many... What are you opening mostly? Just uh, blasters? And uh, you opened uh, some jumbos too, right? And is that all PC stuff? T 
Pop stickers. They're even doing the stickers. Eric got the SP from Series 2. Nice. It's taking a while to go through these. Sorry, I'm jibber jabbing with the chat. Hey, there we go. Lamette. Dude, this guy is awesome. This dude is awesome. Don't sleep on Lamette. He's really good. Going to Nicholas. Got the gold. That actually goes really nice with the jersey. It's color coordinated. 10 13 of 2020. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, oh yeah, it's numbered. Oh yeah, it's numbered. Guys, we gotta get the likes up. I don't wanna mention it again because it's just ridiculous. Let's pop a couple likes up, please. I hate even saying it. I know everybody just forgets. I forget too. And Arenado. The coin. Going to John. Very nice. Very, very nice. My pick to lead the league in home runs, Nolan Arenado. I mean, they are in Colorado tonight, so maybe we'll see an Arenado home run tonight. It is, it's like 90 degrees in Colorado, and there's a couple of uh, average pitchers. So you know what that means. Coors Field's going to be exploding, most likely. You never know with baseball, but things like that tend to happen in Coors. There's an explosion of offense. <clears throat> okay, absolute. And garlic. Whew, it's coming out of my nose. Six hours later. Blackman's hitting like 485. Wow. I like I like Chuck Nasty. What if he shaves that beard off? I'm out. Well, Matt, I really don't have very good luck when I'm PC ripping, so I'm in the same boat as you. I save all my luck for the for the breaks, I guess. I don't really know how that works, but it seems to happen that way. And that's fine with me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would rather pull good cards for you guys than myself. Truth. Let's go. Yeah, just a Michigan fan. Just I've been a Michigan fan forever. This, you know, the tribal thing. Born and raised. Went there for a couple years, sorta. My dad went there. Been to the big house to watch game, games. But I'm not like one of those tyrannical fans who's just like, F Ohio State. Like, I don't care about any of that stuff. I just like, just like watching a Michigan game, you know? Hold on, let me, where are my, here they are. blockers there's so many hits we need card blockers gotta love it blackman is more productive <laughs> i don't like even saying it i'm so sick of hearing the word I i'm not gonna say it it's almost it's in the category of the k word you don't want to bring it around senzel mondesi these are the sh these are the base cards we'll probably get one parallel i like how that works Oh, sweet, just Jeff. Well, we got another one coming out, man. So I hope you enjoy it because I dive in a little deeper into this next one and I look at uh, an additional column. Otani and DeGrom. DeGrom with a so-so night the other night. Did you watch that one, King Arthur? Who is he going up against? The Marlins, I think? Or was it the... I think it was the Marlins. And he didn't perform that well, but he kept... He, like, walked the bases loaded. It, he wasn't looking very good. He started out fire. That first inning, he had pinpoint accuracy. But after that, ugh. We got a real thicky. A real thicky. Underrated channel, I know, man. You just wait. I'll be at 10,000 before you know it, and then it's just going to take off. I don't advertise it or anything. That's probably my bad. Like, 
you can do things to make your channel go up, but I'm just letting it happen naturally. And that's why the quality of the chat is so good. I mean, everybody's awesome here. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Ding, ding, ding. It's Willie Calhoun. It was pretty good last year. Willie Calhoun was three different colors on that one. That's pretty nice. I like it. Red, white, and blue. Blue. Everything's working out well. Eight of 99 going to Texas. Going to Brandon K. Oh, man. I think we got something really good coming up next. I don't know if you saw that. Hopefully, it's what I think it is. Mets just keep dropping. Yeah. I feel bad for them. I like their lineup a lot. I like I like uh, DeGrom. Syndergaard, but he's not pitching. Okay, here it is. If you can see, it is a redemption. That means... Oh, it's a Cody Bellinger. I thought it was going to be a Robert, but... Absolute Jersey Signatures Spectrum Silver. Sounds super fancy. Um, should look that up. Just going to Chad P. Chad, look that up. See what that's all about, man. It's probably something fly. Absolute Jersey Signatures Spectrum Silver. Eh? Well, congratulations. Got to be a nice pull. Usually redemptions are pretty awesome. Usually. Not always, but usually. I mean, it's not awesome to get one because you don't have that instant glorification, gratification, but it is, it is awesome that it's usually like a good player. All right, here we go. Another one. Aaron Savale, eBay one of one, one of 50. I would say on card auto, but that is like a baseball leather. And that, that's a nice auto. He's got a nice signature, one of 50. That is, that's a quality, quality number there. Going to the Indians, going to Karen. Karen got the Indians and the White Sox. I get an extra thick one for this. Thirty bucks on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, like if it's not a superstar or their rookie auto, not you know they're not crazy expensive. But good for a nice little PC one, you know. That's kind of what I consider a lot of the panini stuff is just pc kind of stuff although the the price has gone up a lot for for cards and boxes compared to what it used to be all right the last two we've got a gavin lux nice the rookie roundup followed by george brett that was box number one mini box number one mini box number two right here Blue Wave Auto of Luis Robert sold for 3500 Yeah, the, the autos are out of control for the Chrome stuff, especially for the Robert. Cubby picked up a base auto of his. I think it was like a G or, or something like that. Yeah, hey, Shy City, if you really want to know all the details, Thursday I'm coming out with that value series. It'll tell you everything you need to know about what to buy. And don't worry about waiting a few days. The price, I don't see the price going up. I don't I don't think it has anywhere to go. It's got to be peaked out. Maybe it will. I mean, I'm not I'm not Nostradamus. You never know. But I, it should settle back a little closer to normal. And I haven't said that about anything else. Like, I didn't say that about Bowman. And, uh, I, you know, first edition was so expensive it, it settled down a little bit but you know the regular bowman usually doesn't doesn't go down if there's good players especially ones that haven't made it yet that are still like really big prospect hobby chrome killed you hobby chrome's tough so so is jumbo but that's where the autos are at that's where the high-end stuff's at it's also in the in the retail 
but not not as much Bieber and you'll see you'll see I'll, I'll go over all of it with you guys here's our parallel I think this one's to 99 it's like a little chrome parallel or whatever you want to call it Bieber 26 of 99 even Bieber had a so-so performance. The pitchers are not doing well. It's so weird right now because in baseball, pitchers' numbers aren't that good and hitting numbers aren't that good. So it's like it's usually one or the other is up or down. It's just such a strange season. But we got Scherzer going tonight, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully Scherzer can, you know, he, he only went one inning that last time because he had uh, something wrong with his hammy, I think. Paid 280 from an LCS. That's a fairly good bargain. Um, I think on the value sheet I've got it at 285. So it's a little bit better. Jumbo's the ticket, says Eric. All right, let's check this out. It's a Kino. That's a beautiful card. You've got the red with the shimmer on it, with the like the rainbow foil almost look to it. 54 of 99 rookie materials. A Kino going to Brandon K. Congratulations, Brandon. The red and the red is beautiful. Picked you up two for 225 a box. Yeah, that's a good price. Uh, typically, uh, it should be like, not typically, because these things change, but it should be like 200 for a, for a hobby instead of 300. Uh, that's just not the going rate right now. Oh, dude, Elkanon Jumbo hosed me last year too. Chrome's tough. Don't buy don't buy a hobby or Jumbo a Chrome thinking that you're gonna get like a a thousand dollar card out of there because it's tough. You can, Mendick. You dirty dog, Mendick. We were listening to the Tigers game last night, and all we heard over and over and over was Mendick, because he was doing well. So it was just like Danny Mendick, Danny Mendick, Danny Mendick, with his penmanship sing signature. It's just all capital letters, not cursive. Danny Mendick. Karen. Crushing it. Nice little pinstripe relic there. I like that. Nine out of 140. And got another one right here. Have I seen the Cam Reddish auto? Yeah, I think I think we might have talked about that. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, your best. Hold on, hold on. Elkanon says he bought three jumbos last year, and his best auto was Danny Jansen. No way. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Isan Diaz. With a, we'll call that a textured autograph. My boy. Going to Robert. You can, it, it's it's just like, it's a textured autograph. I don't know, if, I don't know what the deal with that is. If his pen was running out or if it just, it's picking up the texture of that baseball somehow. It almost reminds me of when you get a leaf and turn over the leaf or put a piece of paper on a leaf and then you kind of like sketch over top of it and the texture of the leaf will come out on the paper. It's kind of what it reminds me of. All right, and then we got a couple cards here. We've got a Nico, Nico Rookie Roundup and, oh, that is wicked. Joe DiMaggio, 16 of 25. That's a pleasant little surprise there. I, I knew that that color looked a little different. It was like a purple shimmery color, and, and that's not normal. Usually you get the red ones right there to 99, but 16 of 25, Joe DiMaggio. That's sick. I like it. Going to Christopher. Low number job. I'm going to put him on there. They can share. All these parallels get to share because we got a lot of hits to go. A lot of hits coming up. We need the room. We need the space. Let's do the museum and then we'll finish off with chrome. We got four coming for museum. 
this will be, I think this will be the first test, the first museum test for old Kluber claws. <laughs> he sound opted out mid auto. Only got one number to auto out of the three jumbos. That is brutal. Usually you get one or two, it seems like. SEG, I pulled a Danny Mendick blue chrome out of number 150 out of a hanger box. <laughs> ah, Danny Mendick. Hours of entertainment. Man, we are already, we're already pushing it for space. All right. Museum. Come on, museum. Come on. Come on, how about a bill hook? How about a bill hook? This is dangerous. The, the bill hook on the small boxes is dangerous. See, I already, I already flinched twice a little bit with it there. That's fine. What up, Floyd fan? Missed, yeah, you missed a little bit. Um, got some stuff. What can I say? We got some stuff, but we're just now getting into the museum, so there's going to be some, some good stuff coming out of here for sure. And then we've got the Topps Chrome. So we got a lot of more autos coming. A lot more hits. Oh yes, Mendick, yes. He sure did. Got a little swatch auto there. Number to 140, Pinstripe. Karen getting the hits tonight. Got this Juan Soto. Carlos Correa. Bellinger canvas collection what's back here it's the blue randy the blue randy to 150 going to lorio nice lori it's a pretty sweet one and our first hit on the other side of mr bellinger and his glorious eyebrows you ready Boom, upside down, Justin Upton. It's a nice signature he's got there. Triple patch, number to 25. Wow, signature swatches. Six of 25, that's a nice low numbered card. Going to the Angels. Lori, back to back. With the Randy and the Justin. I need to go through all of the the thick sleeves and give them a slit. I'm gonna have to do that. That's my goal to get that done, so I don't have to take the extra two seconds that's needed to cut them. I kind of liked that. Let's use old Billy again. There. Hit 10k soon? Yeah, it'll be there. Just gotta keep making videos. Anybody can do it. You you can too. Keep pumping out the content. And be a legend. Which everybody here is a legend, so. No, I don't think so, boy, man. I, I Initially, I didn't want to play him in DFS because he looks clumsy out there, doesn't he? He looks, like, awkward out there. He kind of reminds me of Puig. Remember Puig did some, cr I mean, like he's so athletic and athletically gifted that sometimes he overruns things. Okay, Koufax. Strikerbreaks.com. I do have a break listed right now. Forgot to tell you guys. It'll, I don't know, I just listed it before I went live. So if you want to get in on it, strikerbreaks.com. S-T-R-Y-K-E-R-B-R-E-K-S.com. Arenado with the black. I think the purple would have looked better, but the black jersey, I get it. But the purple around there with the purple, that would look sweet. And JD should have been red. Not sure why that's blue. Bieber with the bronze frame. 
<clears throat> I don't think so. I don't think Adele's stock went down after that. It was so unlucky. Did you see where it hit his glove? Just right, like, I mean, he was probably like a centimeter away from having a clean catch. It, that kind of thing happens. I'm not holding it against him unless it messes with his confidence. That's the one thing that you got to watch out for. If it messes with his confidence. Uh. I think Eloy should be a DH. Yeah, there'll be time for that. Maybe even a first baseman eventually. He's a pretty big dude. All right, on the back of here. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Whoa, nice quad relic. That is awesome. I haven't seen one of these with four players on there. And they're all studs, too. 18 of 25. Going to Michael H. Look at that one. We got a piece of Rizzo's jersey, Chris Bryant, Kyle Schwarber, and Javi Baez. I like that. That's gnarly, because they're all good players, too. I have Schwarber on my team tonight, because I'm hoping he hits a home run. He's in Cleveland, lefty-friendly park, against a righty. Batten, clean up. Checking all the boxes. There's that JD. All right, let's keep going. Billy's doing a pretty good job with these low-numbered relics. Both of the relics have been to 25. Well, that one has a signature on it, so I guess it's an auto relic. How about that last box of museum we did? Two 101s. Two 101s out of the same box. Unreal. <laughs> I was going to say that, Floyd fan, but I, I didn't. Three nice players and Schwarber. Schwarber's a nice player. He just needs to get that batting average up at a respectable level. He sure can crank it out of the park. You know, if he can bat 260, then everybody's happy. He's got a high on base percentage. You know, he, he was batting leadoff last year until they put Chris Bryant up there this year. Oh yeah, that's a must for any club uh, Cubs fan for sure. Like, gotta, gotta have it. Ready? George Brett. Another canvas collection card, are you serious? I thought you only got one of these per master box. That's interesting. What did I do with my, here they are. I want to put some on here so we can get a look at this because I. Okay, I was just wondering if it was a, a numbered card, because it was black and white. But it just must be black and white. Uh, that's a Yankee. That's Lou Gehrig. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Lou Gehrig. Going to the Yanks. Chris Bree. Yeah, Juan Soto. He's so fun to watch. His attitude. Like, Tatis, Acuna, and Soto, and Bo to an extent, all have different, unique amounts of swag that are that are a little different, you know? Like, Soto's swag is like a mean swag. Plus, he's a lefty, so he's different than other guys. But he just looks like he wants to hurt you, almost, with that. Like, his face looks like he's growling at you, almost. All right, you ready? Oh, we got two here. No, the bottom one's something else. Bottom one's a Verlander. It's one of those copper frames. Black and white, because he's an old guy, yeah. Here we go. This is an auto, probably, right? We only got one, so we're looking for one more auto. One more relic. Boom! Just the relic. But it's numbered to 50. Good lord. The low numbered hits out of this box. To 25, to 25, and to 50. Pretty nice. Another Yankees hit, Aaron Hicks. Going to Christopher. Get it on up. Last box. Bill equals low number. Yeah, museum does look really sharp. I like it. Here we go. 
Something about the expression on Justin Upton's face there. It almost looks like he's... <laughs> it almost looks like someone said something offensive. And he's just kind of squinting his eyes and he's kind of smiling like it was probably funny what the person said, but not PC. That's what that look, that's what that look says to me. Thanks, Robert. Appreciate that. Nolan Ryan coming up. All right. Well, there's a hobby. Goes nice with that. Manny. There's a perp back there. Don Mattingly, that was the one of one we got. We got a one of one Don Mattingly out of that last one. And Ozzy Elbies to 299, the Amethyst. Who's it gonna be? Boom, boom. Lou Brock, nice. Cardinals, going to Zachary W. Congratulations, Zach. Number to 50, Lou Brock, baby. Archival autographs. Glorious. Oh, first break. Nice, AJ. Well, it's a good spot to start, man, because I care about everybody in the breaks. You know, we're all pals. It's a good spot to start. But the one problem is, is then you'll go break with somebody else and you'll be like, this guy sucks. I'm going back to striker. It happens all the time. Okay, we got the chrome right here. Boom! And I'm running out of room. Goodness. Lou, can we still see you back there? What if... Here, I got an idea. I'm going to take this, this uh, redemption down because there's nothing really to see there. I'm going to put Lou back there. Actually, no. Aquino's going to go back there because he's taller. Lou's going to go right there. And now we've got some space. Hicks. Heading to the back row. If I can fit them right here. It'll be perfect. There. Okay. It's all taken care of. Now it's time for everybody besides me to do their job. Bud, do your job. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep away that nasty bad luck. And now we have two lucks for the price of one. Glorious. Enforcer, what's going on? Ripping. You know, nothing but Bill Hookery going on here. Old Billy's been pretty generous with the low numbered cards tonight. Yeah, that was a, uh, there it is. <coughs> All right, lots. Lots of chrome, two autos, two on-card autos. Looking for that Robert, looking for that bow. Jordan, Lux, Aquino, all the secondary guys, Grisham, Lewis, McKay. There was a hobby of chrome on the, on the website today? No. I wish I would have known. Hey, everybody, feel free to email me if you ever see a deal like that. I would appreciate it greatly. If it's ever like, hey, on the Topps website, you can get whatever, just shoot me an email. I will love you for a long time. Luis Castillo. Refractor. There's Dragon. What's up, buddy? I see you. I, I, I read you loud and clear. There's Grisham. We're having problems seeing Tim's chat. So we got a Grisham. Looking good. I like Grisham. Some people don't. That's okay. Jacob deGrom. Prism. Gonsolin. Pulled a red wave Grisham last night to five. Sweet. Kim Lamb has a 101 Tatis Auto. Lucky. Chris Paddock, Future Stars. I like I like the look of that insert. Mm. 
Buy in, strikerbreaks.com. It's for tomorrow's break. It's going to be at 5 o'clock. Pools. Refractor. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. the tomorrow one's a little bit different. I put the optic choice in there. That's my first and only optic choice. So we'll see how that is. It's, it reminds me of an FOTL, but cheaper and different parallels, but you still get your three autos. So for, I think it's like 200 bucks for that box. And like a, a hobby is like about 200 bucks. So, oh, look at this guys. We got something good in here. Got something good. We got an orange. Would have been perfect if it was a Dustin May. Going to be at work. Yeah, I know. I had to do it early. I got a birthday dinner with my parents tomorrow. So I had to do it. I had to do it beforehand. Here it is. Orange. Who is it? It looks like an orange wave. I'm going from the top down. Yeah, Dustin May is nasty. This is a pitcher. Is it Brock Burke? Brock Burke, auto, Orange Wave Auto. Wow. Holy camoly, guys. That is a tough pull. Orange Wave Auto. You're talking like orange. No way. I don't know. One in 1,500. Yeah, one in 1,500 for this card. Oh, boy. I'm gonna take care of this. Well, good evening. Another Hollis build. Who's rooting for Brock Burke? Brandon Kay's rooting for Brock Burke. I can tell you that much. Sweet. 19 of 25. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them too. Yes, it is numbered. 19 of 25, guys. Tops Chrome Orange Wave Auto. Loving it. Boom. All right. Let's keep going. Everybody's got the Brock Burke Auto in their collection. Altuve. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Strager Brave without a Brock Burke. No joke. Or a Danny Mendick. Yelich? Refractor? Prism. Let's see if we can get a new member of the channel. If anybody wants to join the channel, hit the join button. It's very affordable. It's $1.99. Let's get a new subscriber so I can shout you out in the chat. Even if it's just for one month, shout you out. Let's go. Dustin May again. Got that freshman flash. Groovy. Yeah, he is. I definitely don't play players against him in fantasy. How much of the break? Most of it. This is our last box. We got tons of hits up there, so we'll be going through those in just a minute. And then the break tomorrow is going to be similar, except we're switching out absolute for optic choice. Glass now. Everybody keeps talking about he has the nastiest pitch in baseball. Glass now. He's got the longest reach. It's like seven feet, seven inches from the rubber because he's tall and he extends. Real tough to hit. If the orange was a bow, I'd have to just get into meditation mode and like calm down, calm down. Your heart's going to explode. Yes, Astadio. Love it. And for some reason, 
Jeff the Shark Samarja, still on a baseball card. El Canon, $2. Joining the channel costs less than this super chat. That's right. My man. Appreciate that super chat. Oh, we got a bow back there. I wonder if he's the back card. Have you guys noticed that? Bo being the back card? Because he was when I got him. And now he is again. Is that a thing? Back to back bows? What? Yes. Congratulations, Adam. Going to you. Couple of bows. Sam Hilliard auto coming. I, there's no way I can call him. I don't want to call that. How about... Uh, there's got to be about uh, like a dozen a dozen other ones. How about a Lux Auto? Who's got... Chad P's got the Dodgers. I think he'd be okay with that. Bias. And Arias. Arias and Bias. The 85 bow looks centered. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Look. It looks... I don't see... I don't see much. There's, a, there's like the lightest scratches that you can't see unless you get it in the, the perfect light. But it looks really nice. Your dad's friend, friend played with Sam Hilliard. There's that Kyle Lewis. Who's on the Kyle Lewis train? Is he the next best thing? Kyle Lewis? What about Nico? Nico's pretty good. Yeah, Lux. Uh, Derek! There we go. We got a new hitter. Welcome, Derek. Derek Wilson, shouting you out. You're the man. Appreciate the subscription, the membership, the newest hitter. We're going to plug him right in the three hole so we can get an RBI. Justin Dunn. Aaron Judge. Refractor. That's a nice card. Dude, Brian, that's crazy. He says, that's the first centered 85 card I've seen. I know. Why are they all so OC? Ridiculous. AJ says, Big M's fan, nice to have a good rookie for a change. Yeah, you guys have quite a few good rookies. Austin Nola is good, too. At last year, Vogelbosch was a rookie, wasn't he? Or was was that last year? I like Vogelbosch. We've got the Nolan Ryan die cut. Strikeout percentage. Oh, yeah, Kalenic, Yes. Clinic's going to be a boss. Yeah, Judge is crazy hot, you guys. It might be a good time to sell his cards. Just saying. Y you know how it goes. Buy low, sell high, right? If that's what you're in it for. Or you just collect them. But if you're looking to make some money, he's hot as a firecracker right now. So just think about how how it goes especially with Aaron Judge and his injury history it's just like this wave man so right now he's kind of climbing up again looking good people are on top of him Nico is he going to get hurt tomorrow who knows can't predict injuries i know Vogelbach is just not doing it right now i keep wanting to play him cuz he's still batting like fifth and he's a lefty and he can smash but he's just, he's just getting warmed up. Nelson Cruz, Refractor. Yeah, how about Nico? What? Nico Goodrum? Who is this guy and where did he come from? The Tigers as a whole. They're so much better. All we did is we, like, we got the two twins rejects. Crone and Scope. And we just plug them in like our two, two and four hitters number two and number four and now all of a sudden we're a good team
But yeah, Horner's the one. Sean Murphy. Prism. Yeah, he came up from the Twins. Nico, uh, Nico Goodrum, that is. Right? Yeah. Because he had a card. Nico had a card that he had a Twins uniform on it this year. And I think it was in... It was either in Prism or Select. So I thought that he had gotten traded, and I didn't even know about it. That's how much I cared about Nico. Nico Goodrum, that is. Got a perp. Perp Refractor. Coming up next. Let's drop it down. Altuve's hitting a buck 90. Well, they should hit him with about 190 balls. Oh my god. If this is Nico if this is Nico Goodrum. You guys, this Okay, it's not. It's a pitcher. It's Michael Fulmer. <laughs> How crazy. I don't even know if he's in this checklist, but that would have been ridiculous. Michael Fulmer, he's back. Pretty sure he pitched a good game yesterday. We were listening, but we were playing poker, so. Well, that's cool. 115 of 299. Going to Zach B. I like it. Once again, I keep talking about how the texture look pops out with the the regular refractor parallels. Not so much on the wave. Like, you can't really see it on the waves at all. But the regular refractors, you can. And I like the look of it. Crone? No. I mean... He's always given a, a chance. They keep, people keep giving him opportunities. Chris Paddock? Chris Bryant. You got a couple fatties of optic today. Pulled a Robert Yellow. Oh, nice sea slugger. Strikerbreaks.com. If there are still spots in for tomorrow's break. I just listed it before we started, so there might be. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Danny. Danny, Danny boy, no way. Oh man, I'm beside myself with laughter and joy. Danny, Karen, you have summoned Danny Mendick and he even put his number in the D like an absolute boss. <laughs> oh, love it. Danny Mendick. So Tim Anderson's back tonight after his brief injury, whatever was going on there. It's going to be good for the White Sox in general. Lots of Mendick, I know. Karen's like, why can't that be a Robert? It's a freaking Danny Mendick every time. She gets the White Sox. Pete? Nolan. Yamamoto! Mendick's hitting 303, probably after last night. You should look up his box score yesterday. He must have been crushing because they kept talking about him. And he's batting low in the order, too. I'm not going to lie to you. I have played Danny Mendick in Daily Fantasy this year. Like once, maybe twice. He failed me miserably. Rizzo, refractor. That's it. That's it. Let's check out the hits. Starting with the numbered stuff, we got that Hicks relic, number to 50. Bunch of low numbered things. The Joe DiMaggio to 25 is sweet. Bieber to 99. DeGrom to 199. We did get the 85 Robert, so that's good. Savale, eBay one of one. Arenado coin. Got that Willie Calhoun, eight of 99. Triple relic, three colors, red, white, and blue. Pretty looking. The Aquino to 99, red, red on red. And then that Cubs quad relic. 
to 25. Just awesome. Uh, John, I, I was out, but I decided not to stop at the card shop because <clears throat> I didn't want to spend like $300 on a hobby box. So I just kept driving. Six of 25, the Justin Upton triple relic, signature swatches. San Diaz to 125. <clears throat> Excuse me, that garlic. Whew, still messing with me. Danny Mendick, one nine of 140. So nice, we had to get him twice. Look at him. He's so cocky. Get it? Lou Brock, 44 of 50. That's a cool one. I like it. The Orange Brock Burke. To 25. Unbelievable. Orange Wave Brock Burke. And Michael Fulmer. Purple. To 299. Awesome. Well, I had a great time, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for chilling. I've got a lot of work to do. Thursday, the value series will be out. Tomorrow, we're doing another break. 5 o'clock. It's a little earlier tomorrow. We're going to do the rush hour break. I hope you come and watch. Watch the other videos. Watch the old videos. Become a slammer. All the good stuff. Strikerbreaks.com. I will catch you later.